Hi, I'm Gary Cox, and I'm a senior technical consultant with Bluefish Development Group. And today we're going to do a short video uh, where I show basically a quick resolution um, to a problem one of our clients had with Alfresco 3.4. And the client um, we were working with uh, integrates with Active Directory and they import groups and users using LDAP. Uh, the issue they ran into um, was they decided they had to rename their Active Directory groups. And this seems pretty uh, simple and that wouldn't cause any problems, but actually if you rename groups in Active Directory, they are actually deleted in Alfresco and the new, a new group is created with a new name. Um, this wouldn't normally be a problem, but this uh, client uses group memberships for their site uh, permissions. And so if that happened, they basically would lose all of their uh, site, site memberships, for, and they had about 30 sites. So before they went through this process, they needed a quick way to understand um, for a given group what sites it belonged to. And that way, when they brought the new group over, they could add that new group to the sites the old group belonged to. Um, so one of the things we found in the Alfresco administration interface is there's ways to look at groups, there's ways to look at sites. There's not an easy way from the administration, administration pages to actually look at a group and list out all the sites it belongs to. But what we found out was there's actually an API web script that Alfresco provides that makes this super easy. And you can run a quick web script call, and it will dump out all the sites a group belongs to. Uh, you can record that, and then when you do the group renaming and the new group comes over, it's an easy process to go through and re-add that group to the sites it belongs to. Um, so the focus of this video is going to be on the, the sort of the issue we solve, but in a larger, kind of larger view is it'd be nice as an administrator in Alfresco to have this ability to know for a given group what sites it belongs to. Um, so this is going to be really a two-part video. This first one will walk through the issue we solved and um, how, how we solved it. And then in another video, we'll go back and actually show how we can take that raw report that the API web script provides and actually use that to create a simple admin report in the administration uh, share pages. Okay, so here we are for our demonstration. Uh, basically, we're um, going to do an Active Directory sync with Alfresco. Um, right here, I have my Active Directory group that I've created uh, called Example Group. And so that's been created in my Active Directory. Um, within that group, I have a couple of users that I'm going to try to sync up. Um, and basically, we'll change this group name later, then come back and then do a sync again to see what happens. So here's um, an example group lives underneath groups here, you can see. Um, and then these two users, user one and two, are part of the example group. I'll bring up that there. And you can see they're both members of the example group. Um, and then from there, the Alfresco actually does a query against Active Directory via the LDAP authentication. Um, so here is the uh, group and user search base that I'm using to pull in groups. I've kind of drilled down into the structure a little bit. Um, so when I do a sync, it's really going to just pull those users uh, within that little example uh, OU over, and that'll be used to sync the users with Alfresco. Um, now I'm in the site. You can see um, I'll search for the group, and you can see example group there. It's been synced over from Active Directory. You can see user 1 and user 2 belong to that group. I go to my test site, um, either test or test 2. Um, you can see in test, user 1 and user 2 have been set up as collaborators. That's because the group has been added as a collaborator. And if I search for that group, you can see example group and it's listed as a collaborator in the test site. Now I'm going to jump over to test 2 site and search for the group. And you can see there that group is now a contributor. So different role slightly in the test 2 site. Now I'm going to run the web script, and this actually will bring back, for a given group, it will bring back all of the authorities that the group belongs to. Uh, you can see up on the URL, I'm using example group as the group name, and it comes back with basically um, every uh, site the group belongs to. So there's a, you can see test2, you can see test, and you can see the roles are different. Um, so now this is a simplistic case because there's only two sites this group belongs to. However, you can imagine if this group was a member of about 10 or 20 sites, this would be a lot of good information to have. 
Now this is raw JSON output basically. Um, this could be actually saved off uh, and used to restore if needed um, because you kind of have a record of where, where this particular group belonged to. Um, it would be nicer to show this as kind of a formatted output and it's pretty straightforward to do and that's what we plan to do in a later video uh, where we can actually show kind of a formatted view of this than maybe HTML. You can see here this is the site name, so group site test 2, group site test. And then you can see for each group they have the, the appropriate role, either site contributor here and site collaborator here. Um, and so if this file is saved off, basically we have that as a record of the current membership. Uh, and again, this is raw JSON, but if, uh, if it was digested and formatted, it could be a, a sort of a nicer HTML report that could be used. So I'm going to hop back over to Active Directory now, and I'm actually going to rename my group. So it was example group. I'm going to change it to example group new. Um, so the group name has changed. And then after doing that, I'm going to use the sync trigger um, in Alfresco to manually sort of kick off the LDAP synchronization job. Uh, normally this would go by a cron job, but uh, we don't want to wait for midnight, so we're going to execute it now, and that will sync over the new uh, group name. So the method was in, uh, invoked. Now I'm going to go back and go to the ad, admin screen. You can look for groups. And example group is gone. Example group new is here. And you see the members are belonging to example group new. Example group no longer exists. But the side effect is in test site and test to site, you're no longer able to see the users as members. So the original site and its members and its memberships are deleted. I'm sorry, the original group and its memberships are deleted. Uh, the new group comes in with the users, but it has no site memberships. So if you had this report, basically, you could go back and see, oh, okay, this example group used to belong to uh, site test 2 as a site contributor and site test as a site collaborator. And using this, you could go back and with the new group name, figure out what to assign them to. Um, so I'll do that now. And Basically, you can um, restore both uh, site collaborator status and site contributor status to the um, appropriate sites. So first, I'm going to go to the test site and add it as a collaborator, and then test two and add as a contributor. So if I go to test and go back to members, and just to uh, prove that it is gone, I'm going to search for groups, and there's nothing there. So the, the new group did not get automatically added to uh, the test site. So I'm going to go back and add it. Um, and that should be a collaborator. And I'll go to test two, and it is a contributor. And again, you search for groups. There's no groups here now. Go back and add. and go back to the dashboard, and they're back. And that's basically it. Um, <clears throat> provides an easy way to have sort of an output of um, all your group's site memberships. Um, and again, this was useful for us in the sense that we were trying to help a client with a specific issue. But um, personally, I find this to be a, a generically useful web script to have. Um, it's good for administrators to be able to keep track of. Um, Thanks for joining us today for this video. Um, if you ever do need to rename your groups in Active Directory, uh, make sure you pay attention to this before you do that, otherwise you'll lose some of your site membership data. Um, this is an easy workaround and a simple way to maintain uh, site memberships that your groups belong to. Also, I hope this is generically useful as for any administrator that needs to find out uh, quickly what sites a group belongs to. This is an easy way to find that out. And also look in the future for another video where we take the raw JSON uh, web script call and tie that into an administrator report uh, for easier viewing to be tied into the administration tools in Alfresco. And lastly, if you have any questions or need follow-up information, uh, contact information at Bluefish is provided.